Hey yo, this is Yeti Whiskers, and welcome back to the Cave of the Yeti. Welcome, welcome back. It has been a little while. So, let's see here. See if I can remember how to do things. Ha, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Uh, the reason I've been gone, you guys may remember from before I've left for a few weeks, we had a baby, my wife and I did. Baby number two for us, a little tiny baby Yeti. And uh, she's been doing real good. Uh, she was born almost two weeks ago and she's pretty healthy a little over seven pounds just like our first and she's been sleeping pretty good for a newborn which we appreciate we've had a couple of rough nights but uh, anyway that's where I've been hopefully you guys have been doing good without me I'm sure you have been um, but we want to do a little I came up with a little bit of an idea for how I want to change our little room of projects in here I thought we'd start with that maybe so if you'll notice here, I've got the iron farm, and then I've got the dash, and then I've got whoever's idea it was, which for this is Taylor HD Gaming, which I appreciate. And then over here, I've got the date that we completed the project for the auto smelter. So originally, I was going to do all three bits of information on the item in the item frame, and then I decided, you know what, that's a lot to read, and it may not even fit on the screen depending on what we've got going on. And then I came up with the idea of this. And you guys have to let me know if you think this is okay or not for vanilla. I'm trying to keep this as vanilla as possible. Um, you know what, I'm going to have to do this. So to do this, we're going to go to open to land, allow cheats on, and you start your land world. And then you do this command. It's give Yeti Whiskers, or whoever you are. Then we do skull. One, three... And then you've got to do these little fancy brackets here. Hold on, I have to look at my keyboard for this. I don't know where these are located. And then you do skull owner, colon. I think you do it like this. Taylor HD Gaming. And then we close the black brackets. And we should, in our little thing there, looks like we've got Taylor's head. So I'm just going to put it right here. Ooh, nice shades, Taylor. Looking good, buddy. Uh, so... This is Taylor's head here, and I think we'll do that. And then once the we get to completion date, I'll take off Taylor HD Gaming there, and I will put just the date that we complete the project. And let me know what you guys think about that. That's a little bit veering from complete vanilla, but I kind of like that idea better than you know this huge long thing we have to read. Anyway, so that's my idea for the project right now. We've just got Taylor who's given me a suggestion for a project, and then the rest of them are things that I've come up with. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions, improvements, let me know, and we'll get your name on there, or your head at least, for the various projects that I've got going on. Um, so for today, I thought we might work on our cave a little bit. I'll show you also what I've been doing off camera. Uh, we've been doing a little bit of work on the cave itself, and then I have come down over here and started a little mine. I've got another mine that's like in a random spot, but uh, this is... I'll sh jump all the way down here and show you what I've got going on. You saw some powered rail there. Sneak peek at what we may be doing today. Anyway, down here I have got a mine with a beacon. So we slayed a uh, wither boss. And I just did it the same way I did on Total Craft. You guys go check that out. It's really easy and simple. Uh, the hardest part is getting the with their skeleton skulls. So anyway, we've got the beacon here, we've got haste 2, uh, got a bunch of iron and gold blocks. That took a little while to get, had to go find a few different abandoned mine shafts before we could find this and spend a bunch of time at our iron farm. I've got one now, but Taylor's idea and my idea is to have the iron farm at the spawn chunks so that it's always running. So then what I want to do today, I think, is to get this portion going. So what this is, is I've just got a minecart with a chest here and you just push the button. Actually, let's load it up a little. Um, maybe not. I don't know what I've got going on in there. So we push the button and it'll go up here. We'll follow it. It's a bunch of powered rails here. And what this is basically going to do is it's going to jump or drop all of our items off into a little dropper that I've got set up. And then it'll shoot it into our uh, little pool for our auto sorter, which I think will be pretty cool. And then we don't have to go jump all the way up when we got a full inventory and all the way back down. Um, right now, you know, I don't have a bunch of items that are in our sorter. So what we plan on doing is I've got this little station set up here. You'll see it's emptying all these items. Once this is emptied, it'll, it'll shoot the, the cart back down and it'll sit back down at the, the uh, station we've got going down there. And this is just filling up. So what I think we'll do today is I'm going to set up a bunch of hoppers and we'll get them to come out this way. And then I'll set a dropper off here. And we've got a little witch down there. Hello, friend. 
take care of you. Ow, potion, poison. And then it'll shoot them off into this, and it'll go into our item sorter. We don't have all of our items ready to be sorted yet, but we've got like the cobblestone, stone, some of the more basic things that we'll be mining down here, granite, diorite, etc. So we'll get that set up so that it'll just grab these items out, put them in through there, and then, um... oh, almost died. Way to go, not even paying attention. So that is the plan for now. So I'm going to go ahead and get some hoppers in my inventory and get a dropper, get this thing sort of situated, and I'll catch up with you guys once we are there. And we're back. So I didn't do it too terribly much off camera. I got this hopper train going from our little unload station here that should go all the way down here, through here, and into our dropper that we've got set up. And I tried a few times to do this redstone on camera and it went horribly, horribly wrong. So I got it to work first, and now we're looking at it. So how this works is we have a compare to her here in subtract mode that is reading a signal from our dropper. And then we've got a piece of redstone dust here, one here, and then you've got to have blocks in both on top of the comparator and on top of this. And this block here separates these two pieces of redstone. And then you need a block here, which will send... Oh, bong my head here. Let's see. Let's see if we can get over here so we can see. Uh, so then this essentially is what we've got is a little bit of a clock that sends a signal and says, okay, shoot. And we've got the comparator here that reads the signal off of this. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense to some of you guys who are a little bit more redstone savvy. But uh, So let's take a look. I'll drop in some diorite here, and we should see it start to shoot out. Yep, and that is exactly what we want. So now let's go and test from here, see how long it takes for us. Let's put some of this and some of this in there. And it should just go through here start shooting things out and again I, I apologize for the noise that it makes these things are really obnoxious but oh we don't want to collect them should be shooting out yeah that's exactly what we want so that's pretty exciting now we should be able to just to go mine dump our inventory keep on mining and that'll be good so I'm gonna go ahead and make this look a little bit prettier I'm gonna make it so you can't see it as well from looking out that way I'm grabbing some cobblestone here so I'll catch up with you guys once I've got this kind of covered up a little bit and show you what it looks like so here it is from the outside. You can see the dropper right there. We've covered that up. And I actually had to switch the side that the little clock thing was on. It was sticking out here pretty bad. So I stuck it on the other side, and it seems to be working just fine. I was a little worried it would freeze the hopper if it got powered, but it seems to be working just fine. I'll show you how that works here. Uh, let's actually simulate the whole thing. So let's run down. I have to put a, enough items in for this to hopefully wait for us while we're down or while we're working our way up but anyway I'm pretty excited to get this thing going I'll also show you what haste 2 does for those of you who may or may not know why it's important to have this beacon here let's do this also and then we'll hit this and we'll run up so uh, beacons are awesome <laughs> they are so much of a help especially when you're mining like this you should just be able to tear through blocks it's almost insta mine if you have an efficiency 5 pickaxe and I'll show you that once we get done with this jump up here a little bit here we go here we go sorry guys this is super bumpy hopefully you don't get like motion sick or something so we should have this see this unloading which it is you can probably hear the yep you can hear the dropper clicking also it's shooting our items out there and they'll go into our auto sorter through our item elevator and oh, well first I'll drop into the little pool we've got over here then the water flow pushes them down this way into a water stream that we've got going underneath and then into an item elevator and then into our auto sorter and I'll show you guys that maybe it's been a little while since I've sh shown that I think I'm not sure it's been a while since I've recorded I don't remember what exactly I've been said and what we've been doing for a while here kinda hopefully getting back into the swing of things and I've kinda missed it a little bit it's been I've only done quite a bit off camera I'll show you some other projects maybe once we get to those but uh, yeah it's good to be making videos again hopefully you guys appreciate it so let's show you the insta mine. So let's see on my thing. I've got efficiency five, fortune three, mending, and unbreaking three. So this is a pretty decent pickaxe. And I'll show you how quick you can mine things. If oh, this doesn't seem to be working. Let's see. We got haste two. I don't know why that didn't work. There we go. There we go. Insta mine. So you can see you can just tear through blocks real quick. So as you can imagine, it'd be pretty easy for us to fill up our inventory, which is why we wanted that thing to go. Set that up to go get our or go to our item sorter, we can just dump our inventory real quick. So we've already found ourselves some gold. Grab all these blocks and then we'll just dump them. And the gold I'm not going to put into our sorter yet because I don't have a slot for it yet. 
I don't have enough iron, which is why we need to get our iron farm situated. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode, but we can do the andesite, cobble. Like, look at that. We almost have three full stacks of cobble, and that took us 15 seconds or something. So we'll go send these off. And then let's run up our little thing here. So I'll spend most of my time down here off camera. You won't see that very much, but... Um, oh, one thing before we go. I'm going to put a couple of chests down here, just so I don't have to run all the way back when I do fill up my inventory with things that I don't have spots f slots for yet in the sorter. So I'll put those chests down there, and eventually it won't even matter. I'll have a slot for everything, and I can just chuck everything into that little unloader system, and it should all work. But let's go take a look over here at our item sorter, so you guys can kind of see that. So the theory behind this is you just chuck items down into here. I talked about it so you can see them shooting off over there. Let's go see if we can catch them. It's good. Things are working. You can hear it. Sorry about that. It's kind of obnoxious. Go see them in the item elevator itself. So we've got this. I still need to finish this, uh, but we'll worry about that more when we have some more iron for hoppers. You can see some items flowing up there. There's some more cobble. And they should just flow through here and then get sorted into the various things. And what this is is impulses design for the overflow protection of the item sorter. You just stick some items in here, you'll see stone, some things that don't stack, and then they just get sorted into here, and then I think it's Lurgan MC is his design. This is basically infinite. So when this fills up, I've got a light set up on this side. Once these are full, a light will come on. See, just like the cobble did here. I'll show you how we can fill that up. Let's see, I don't have a mine cart, but I can make one. Then all you gotta do is a uh, minecart with a chest, and we can. Oh, <laughs> one thing at a time here. Getting a little ahead of myself. So this light is on, off and on. Oh, it's going on. Oh, okay, we're just filling up with it right now. But if this was were to go on, all we'd have to do is come right here, put a little minecart right there. We just add another one, and then we've got another double chest worth of storage. And you just keep adding them as many as you want there, which is really a, an ingenious little trick. We've got a few items set up, but I need to finish this. So once we get the iron farm set up, which we may do in the next episode, we can make this thing start looking a little bit better. But anyway, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. If you have uh, made it all the way to the end, I appreciate it. I'll give a big shout out to Taylor, HD Gaming. I'll give a special thanks to him uh, for the idea of the iron farm and the spawn chunks. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.